Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 10.16 from Sadiku book. So the question is use nodal analysis to find Vx in the circuit shown in figure 10.65. Okay, in the circuit, they are already in fasor, So we don't need to transform it. So let's just do straight to analysis and we have two essential nodes. With I name this node as node A and this node here as node B and let's take a note here that vx is equal to va minus v a minus vb if this is our current okay maybe let's assume the direction of the current so i just follow the arrow here and i also follow the arrow here and maybe this is going to the right and this is going down and maybe this is going down okay now let's do kcl at the both nodes so not a and not b but first let's do kcl at not a okay kcl said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out and the only current that goes in is this one so i will have two angle of zero degrees and that will equal to this one here that will be pa divided by five and then this one here so i'll have plus pa minus vb divided by j4 okay now let's simplify this so i will have 1 over 5 plus 1 over j4 multiplied by va and then plus minus 1 over j4 multiplied by pb and all of that will equal to 2 angle 0 but i just write it as 2. i think that's all for not a so now we need to find out KCL at node B. So let's do that. KCL at node B. Again, the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes in. There are two currents that goes in, which is this one and this one. So let's write this one first. So I will have PA minus vb divided by j4 and then plus this current here that also goes in so you'll have 3 and angle 45 degrees and that will equal to this one here which means that that is vb divided by minus j Okay, let's move this to the right hand side. So I will have 3 angle of 45 degrees. And that will equal to, this will be minus 1 over J4 multiplied by VA. And this one will be plus 1 over J4. And this one will be minus 1 over J3. And this will be multiplied by B. Or I can just copy this. I can just move this three angle 45 degrees to the right hand side of the equation. So maybe let's let's copy this. Okay, let's copy and paste. okay and that will equal to three angle 45 degrees okay as usual we have two equation and two variable one and two we need to find out va and we need to find out vb how to do that we use calculator but first we name this one here as a and we name this here as b 
this coefficient here as C, this coefficient here as D, and this one as E, and this three angle 45 here as F. So we can rewrite that one as a matrix. So I will have A, B, C, D, multiplied by V, A, and V, B. And that will equal to E and F. E and F. Okay. We can calculate V, A. And we can also calculate V, B. Okay. By using Kramer's method, right? So I will have this one. E, D minus B, F. And this one will be divided by AD minus BC and for PB we will have AF minus EC divided by AD minus BC okay but remember that VX VX is VA minus VB okay now let's plug the a until f to the calculator and we are set to go okay this is my calculator let's set it up and set it as complex number calculator which is number two and now let's save this so i will have one over five plus one over four i okay let's store this as a and then I will have this one minus 1 over 4i. That will be B. Okay, and then 2. Let's store this as E. Okay, and then this one I will have minus 1 over 4i. Let go one over four i. I let's save this and C and then this one one over four i minus one over three i. Okay, let's store this as D and let's store 3 angle 45 as F. Okay, we have completed A, B, C until F. So, let's calculate V, A minus V, B. So, what is V, A? V, A is this one. Let's recall V, e, D. E D minus P F divided by A D minus P C. So this is for P A. And then we need to subtract it by V B. So I'll have minus. So I'll have A F. We call A. Yeah, we call F minus recall E then recall C and divided by recall A recall D minus recall B recall C okay so this is PA minus PB okay we got the answer but it is in polar core it's in rectangular coordinate we need to Change it into polar coordinate, which is this one, number three. So we will have that one as the answer. So Px is 5.75. Px is 5.75. And the angle will be 138.95. 138.95 degrees. And the unit here will be... Okay, and let's highlight this because this is the final answer of the problem.
if I did not make any mistakes in my technology. Hopefully not. Let me know if I do. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.